Hello guys, I'm Catbug and welcome to another Artbox unboxing video. Today I have a new scroller box for you that I'm gonna open and make something with. And mine arrived a little dented this time, thank you Swedish Postal Services. I also noticed that many of you that are watching my videos aren't subscribed to my channel, so if you aren't subscribed, please take one moment and just hit that subscribe button, it really helps me out, so you don't miss out on any of my artsy videos. Speaking of subscribing, I know I repeat myself in all these videos, but I know there's always someone new that's watching. So if you don't know, Scholarbox is a monthly subscription box that is filled with high quality art supplies. I will leave a link down in the description if you want to check it out yourself. They also have a thing called the Scroller Challenge, and the challenge is to create something with all the supplies that comes in the box. So let's take a closer look on the supplies inside. So I will start with these two cards as usual, and the first card gives you information about all the supplies that comes in the box, and on the other side it tells you about the scroller challenge that I mentioned before, and they also gives you a word to work with to make it a little more challenging, and this month's word is spontaneous which is a really good challenge, I feel I will really have fun with this. Then we also have this month's featured artist, which is Karn Griffith, and he made this very, very detailed and awesome artwork. A little sticker and some sweets. So we will start with the least expected supply in the box, a little tea bag. And I first thought this was like some sort of treat, like the candy, but it's actually listed here with the other supplies in the box. So I guess I will be painting with tea today. So it's not really what you would expect in an art box, but I have painted a lot with tea before, so it's not really that new to me. And I know a lot of other people that paint with tea and coffee and all that. I also use tea to dye paper to make it look more like parchment or aged paper. So I think this is really fun and it's a really nice way to let people know about more alternative art supplies. Then we have this clear little straw, either to drink your tea with or to blow it around on the paper when you're painting with it, to give it this nice splatter effect, I guess. So I think that's a really nice idea, I never thought of using a straw for that, so the more you know. So the next supply in the box is this Dervent graphite pencil, and it's a 7B, which means that the lead is pretty soft and dark. The softer it is, the darker it is. And I really like this brand, I have them in both the regular pencils like this, and also color pencils. So the next supply in the box is another Derwent product, and it's a graphic line painter. It's some sort of paint marker, but it got a very fine nib, it's a 0.5mm, and apparently you can add water to it and you will get this watercolor effect, but once it dries it becomes permanent. Uh, so yeah, it sounds very interesting and I love the color. And the next supply in the box is another Derwent graphic pen. And it seemed to be some sort of sepia colored fine liner. And I've seen a lot of artwork made with sepia tone fine liners before and it looks amazing. So I have actually been thinking about getting one myself, so this is perfect. And it's a good size as well, 0.3 millimeters. And the next thing is something that I think is very interesting. And it's a Parker Vector fountain pen. Pen. and these kinds of pens are apparently great to use for writing but I guess you can also use them for line art and such and I have actually never used these kinds of pen before I only use that kind with a steel nib that you dip in ink and draw with but I guess that's practically the same thing. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to try this one. And the last supply in the box is this watercolor paper sheet from Bockenford and it's 300 grams and it says here on the paper that it can be used with a lot of different mediums like watercolor, gouache, acrylic, pastel, pen and ink, pencil and charcoal. Uh, so this will be perfect for today's drawing, painting. So that's all the supplies in the box, let's try them out! So the first thing I did were to put the fountain pen together, which was a bit scary since I felt like I was going to get blue ink everywhere, but it went well without any accidents. 
Then I brew the tea and I let it soak for more than 10 minutes to make it extra strong and dark. And I got a little too much water in there so I poured out some of it to make it a little more concentrated. And it smelled really good, I wish they had sent more tea bags in the box. Then I were ready to start painting and I used masking tape to make the paper stay in place while painting. And I know a few of you are wondering what kind of tape I use and the one I use is just regular masking tape that you use when painting windows and such. And I got it in a store that sells paints and wallpapers and it's very cheap. Uh, it doesn't stick to the paper as regular tape does. So the team is spontaneous and I just felt like painting an eye so I went with that and that's mainly the first thing that pops up in my head when doodling and such but it's just so fun drawing eyes and I didn't really have any plans for this so yeah I felt very spontaneous. The sepia tone fineliner was perfect for outlining and then I used the tea as a base color. Uh, I didn't thought about it at first but the tea worked really well as skin color. And then I used the blue ink to add a little bit of color to the eye and for darker shades. And the blue ink looked really nice on its own but I loved using it with water. And it got this really nice green color when mixed with the tea. And it was a nice pen to use, I'm pretty sure I will use it more for writing and such. So I got questions about what I do with all the supplies that I get in these art boxes that I don't use. And I usually give them to others, like my mom have gotten a few of the supplies. And I have also given some to the school that my boyfriend works as a teacher at. So I just don't let them lay around because then I would have no space left here. I actually really enjoyed this month's box, or last month since this is March box. Uh, first when I opened it I were a bit skeptical, but I had a lot of fun with all the supplies. I will probably use the sepia fine liner and the fountain pen more for future work. And it was nice painting with tea again, I'm hoping to do that again soon. I used the yellow paint marker as a highlighter sort of and it was good to brighten up some parts of the painting a little and the color got even more vibrant when adding water to it. And then I used the graphite pen to add a bit of a shading and to darken some parts of the eye like the eyelashes. And I was terrible at using the straw, maybe I used the wrong technique or something. I don't know if there are that many ways to blow in a straw, but I imagine the tea just going in one direction, but instead it went all different ways. So yeah, I probably did it the right way, but I was expecting a different result. So I hope you like this painting, I'm happy with how it turned out in a way. Thanks to Scrawlerbox for sending me this and if you are curious about Scrawlerbox and want to try it out yourself, I will leave a link down in the description. It's a good way to find out about and try out new supplies. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my artsy videos. Keep drawing my happy cats, bye!